Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Rabinovich, founder of Rare Real Estate, and today I'm here to share with you one of the most exciting opportunities in the city, Grand Central Mimico. Let's jump into it. What are some of the most important ingredients that have to be accounted for when creating these thriving new master plan communities? We've narrowed it down to seven factors. We have the redevelopment component, the office, the retail, there's the residential development component. Of course, there's the infrastructure enhancements, transit, which is a critical, critical piece, which we'll talk about in detail later on. And finally, the green and public spaces. To tell you more about the vision behind Grand Central Mimico, I'd like to introduce Mr. John Van Dyke, President and CEO of Van Dyke Properties. Any successful business is really developing relationships. And I think along with uh, seeing the vision of and developing relationships within this particular corridor um, has been quite successful. It's really on a human level and the people that we are dealing with in, in this vicinity are all of a very grounded and have come from a background of humble beginnings of building their businesses from scratch. We could very, very much relate to these people and really try to understand what their needs and wants were where we are today and where we're going is really we're building a mini city transit office retail health everything anything you can think of you don't have to leave here <laughs> we don't want to take shortcuts i think we always always think long term so we just do what we say and say what we do period my name is john van dyke i'm the president and ceo of van dyke properties Grand Central Mimico is actually Toronto's greatest redevelopment story. A few years back, the city of Toronto has redesignated this neighborhood as a regeneration area. This is an incredibly rare designation. There are four main objectives behind creating a regeneration area. The city wants to see incredible residential growth. They'd like to see employment growth. They'd like to see density coming up right around infrastructure that's already in place. And finally, they want to create new green spaces for the new community residents to enjoy. To tell you more about this regeneration area, I'd like to welcome Sherman Chen, VP and Managing Director of Real Estate for Van Dyke Properties. The last 15 years at Van Dyke Properties has been about growth. Our business is about understanding investments from bottom up. And over the last three years, we have been working quietly to build up this level of conviction for the Grand Central Mimico regeneration area. What we hope to do is set an example of how communities are going to be delivered in the future within our great city. So what makes Grand Central Mimico unique as a regeneration area is there will be a long-term transformation in this area. And this transformation is, is committed. Currently, as you see this neighborhood, uh, it encompasses a lot of turn-of-the-century industrial one-story warehouses. And the intent is to repopulate this area into a vibrant, new, mixed-use community for people to live, work, and, and play. My name is Sherman Chan. I'm Managing Director of Real Estate with Van Dyke Properties. To build on what Sherman said, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. We've decided to show you. There are only seven regeneration areas in all of Toronto. Toronto obviously bounded in the north by Steeles, west by the 427, south by the lake, and on the east by Pickering. Only seven regeneration areas in all of Toronto. Six of them are east of Dufferin Street. There's only one regeneration area west of Dufferin Street. Guess which one it is? Making Grand Central Mimico a one-of-a-kind purchase opportunity. Look at Manhattan, for example. Now, I'm very careful. I don't want to say that we are Manhattan, but there are many reasons why Manhattan real estate is so valuable. One of which is the fact that Manhattan is an island bound by water, which means that there is a very constrained amount of land available for development. Developers may want to build more, but the fact that there's not enough land creates a shortage in the market, pushing real estate values up. Now, if you look at our neighborhood here, the regeneration area has very defined borders as far as where density could go, meaning that we're an island, Mimico Island. You cannot build outside of these boundaries. 
there is no more density while we're building through this community. It's enough to house about 15 high rises and then that's it. Supply drops to zero. What happens when supply is constrained but demand is on the rise? Prices increase. We believe we're gonna experience price growth here like which I've seen very few times before in a city because as soon as the land runs out, there will be zero supply added to the market. Demand will continue to be on the rise because we're anchored by transit and we have so many other facets to our community. So we have two other master plan communities being launched in the GTA currently. We have one around Square One Mall in Mississauga. We have one in Vaughan and of course, Grand Central Mimico. Now, if you examine and take a close hard look at what the rental numbers look like in those submarkets, you'll see that Mississauga currently has 270 units available for rent. The average rental is trading at just over $2,000 per month. In Vaughan, we have 57 units available for rent currently. Now keep in mind, there are only three or four buildings completed in Vaughan. There are dozens more to come. Also trading at an average of just over $2,000 per month. At Grand Central Mimico, you have only eight units available for rent but the average trade here is almost 15% higher than our friends in Mississauga and Vaughan. Where would you want to invest in? Where would you want to put your money in? Where you have hardly any supply and you're getting more rents? That is the answer. On the resale side, Square One has 58 units available for sale right now. Vaughan has 16. Now that may not seem like a lot, but again, there are only a handful of buildings completed there. More to come. Massive influx of supply for both of those markets. Only 15 units available for sale around Grand Central Mimico. Now, when you're talking about oversupply, we really wanted to make it visual for you. There are more than 15,000 units coming to the market in Mississauga in the next decade. Same for Vaughan. In our neighborhood, because we are designated as a regeneration area and those boundaries, as we've talked about, are very defined, we can only house about 4,500 units and then supply will come down to zero. Now, basic supply and demand principles. When supply drops, what happens to pricing? If demand remains consistent, actually we expect demand to rise because we're still anchored by transit and there are so many different layers coming into this neighborhood, where do you think prices will go when demand is going to rise and supply will drop down to zero? Take advantage of that right now. Invest in your future. Now, Grand Central Mimico, let's talk about that for a second. Before we jump into the details behind the community, let's get to know the developer, Van Dyke Properties. Van Dyke has been around for about four decades with over $2 billion worth of real estate development in their pipeline or completed. You can see the projects they've done behind me. That's just a few of them. They have countless completed projects and a really strong track record of being sophisticated in every facet of the business. Grand Central Mimico is going to have 3 million square feet of residential density and half a million square feet of retail and office. Visually, You'll see we have Grand Avenue Park. We'll talk about that in a moment. Our first phase, the Buckingham, three buildings. Coming up, launching today, we'll have our phase two and our phase three along the rail. Nine buildings in total with 2,700 units. Grand Central Mimico will be the future home for about five to 7,000 new residents. We're creating a community here, folks. To tell you more about the office and retail component, I'd like to welcome Dominic Zita, Executive VP of Operations for Van Dyke Properties. Grand Central Mimico has a true sentimental value to me. I grew up in the Mimico area and I'm proud to be part of this evolution that is happening here. So Grand Central Mimico uh, will be providing a great deal of uh, employment opportunity. We're bringing uh, approximately in the Buckingham, in the first phase of the project, we're bringing approximately 30,000 square feet of new office space. 
and approximately 20,000 square feet of uh, retail space. Well, the addition of this new retail and office, especially at the pedestrian level, uh, will definitely breathe life uh, into the streets and sidewalks of this new bustling neighborhood. Our approach to architecture and building is about detail and craftsmanship. Those two uh, combined is our greatest focus. Hi, I'm uh, Dominic Zita, Executive Vice President, Managing Director of Operations of Van Dyke Properties. When we're talking about office and retail, just look at the image behind me. You can see the relationship between the transit into the retail, the thriving public realm Van Dyke is trying to create here. The office retail, inviting, creating new employment opportunities in the neighborhood. If we peel back a little bit, you'll see the retail a little bit more intimately and what those corners would look like. The animation at grade, people coming and going, people shopping, people stopping for lunch, people stopping for coffee, interacting with their neighborhoods. Folks, we are creating a community here. There are over 300,000 square feet of retail and office coming to Grand Central Mimico to build on the already incredible retail that's surrounding us. San Remo, Jimmy's Coffee, Meat Market, those are all some of the incredible retail amenities that already exist in the neighborhood. Now, retail and office are massive contributors for real estate value growth, creating employment opportunities, making communities a destination. All of that translates into higher real estate values over time. Again, Grand Central Mimico is an incredibly unique investment offering and a purchase offering for those of you who want to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime. Let's talk about the natural amenities that are around us. We're fortunate enough to be positioned, surrounded by literally millions of square feet of green spaces. And this is not fluff. High Park is 399 acres, only minutes away from your front door. We're talking about 1.7 million square feet of natural green spaces. Humber Bay Shores, all of the parks along the lake just south of our property. And of course, in our property, we're building Grand Avenue Park, a brand new 12 acre park that's designed to enhance the lifestyle of the community in which we live in. Half a million square feet of brand new green space created right outside of your front door. Sports fields, recreational facilities, playgrounds, splash pads, off-leash dog parks, Everything is right outside of your front door. And this is what we mean when Van Dyke is creating a vision and bringing it to life. It's expressed in every realm within this community. One of the most critical components of this community is the relationship to transit. For the first time in its history, Metrolinx has partnered up with a private real estate developer, Van Dyke Properties, in an effort to really make Grand Central Mimico a truly transit-oriented community, comprehensively creating access to transit seconds away from your front door. Now, I know I use the term outside of your front door a lot in this presentation, deliberately. Every single element that's created here is curated to be right within your reach. Look at the station. Van Dyke in collaboration with Metrolinx are building a brand new station that's intended to integrate right into the fabric of the community. You can see the relationship between the station and the public realm again created. The retail, how it all comes together. This has been thought through every single detail while being curated at the highest level of execution between Metrolinx and Van Dyke properties. One of the benefits of living in a Van Dyke building within this community is few of the buildings will actually have direct access to the GO station. The Van Dyke buildings that will not have that direct access will actually be positioned closest to the street access point to the GO station. If you take a quick look at the transit map behind me, you'll see how connected our community is. Grand Central Mimico is literally only two stops away from Union Station. Minutes to the core, Union Station being Toronto's main transit hub, connected to the subway system, through the core. We're one stop away from the future Ontario line. Now folks, this is major. 
Toronto currently is severely underserved as far as transit infrastructure within the core. We have two subway lines. The Young subway line was built in the 1950s. The Bloor subway line was built in the 1960s. It's been 60 years since we got a new subway line that services the core. I'm not talking about the extension to Vaughan. I'm not talking about the LRT along Eglinton. I'm talking about a subway line going through the underserved areas within the core. The Ontario line has been approved. We're one stop away from that. But we're also on the go line, which means that you can travel far. The subway can get you to travel through the core. The go travels far. If you wanted to travel east, you could go as far as Pickering and beyond. If you wanted to switch trains at Union, you could hop on via rail, travel all the way to Montreal. One train from our site will take you west to Port Credit, Hamilton, Oakville, Burlington, St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, one train. So not only are you connected into the core, you're connected far and wide across Southern Ontario. That's the kind of access to transit that is unprecedented in Toronto today. Now let's talk about our first phase, the Buckingham. Comprised of three buildings, our north, the central, and the south. The buildings are connected by a common podium comprised of a retail component and an office component. Remember, part of the regeneration area objectives is to create employment opportunities. We're trying to create a microeconomy within our community. We have 20,000 square feet of retail, 30,000 square feet of office, 370 units that we're going to be launching in the north and center building today. And overall, we have 750 units for you over the next few weeks. As far as amenities, man, there are so many amenities here. We have 40,000 square feet of them. Indoor and outdoor amenities far beyond what the city requirements are. Some of the amenities have been created are world class. Van Dyke has stopped at nothing to create inviting open spaces for residents to enjoy, finished opulently. Just look at our wellness center, 7,500 square feet with soaring high ceilings. Our social club, again, everything is created in an effort to enhance and encourage interaction of residents within their buildings to get to know their neighbors, spend time with their neighbors, socialize with their neighbors. Altogether, we have 40,000 square feet of amenities. And just note there's a very easy way to remember the retail, the office, and the amenities component in our building. It's 20, 30, 40. 20,000 square feet of retail, 30,000 square feet of office, 40,000 square feet of amenities. Let's chat about the offering because this is really the most exciting part. As you can see on the left here is our unit mix. How many one bedrooms, one in dens, two bedrooms, three bedrooms have been created? We haven't made those numbers up. We've taken a really close, hard look at the resale market right there. And we've evaluated and looked through in detail what is trading in our neighborhood today? What are the needs? What are the missing elements? What are the missing unit types in our neighborhood today? Our unit mix has been curated specifically based on the needs of the community. And if you look at pricing, just look here. That's all you need to see. We get a lot of questions about pricing. How is the project going to be priced? Everyone, pay close attention. We've taken the average prices for each unit type within our marketplace, and we've ensured that our pricing not only is competitive with the resale market, but actually gives you more value to get in and buy today. Now let's chat a little bit about asset appreciation, the layers of value principle. We all know that old principle, location, location, location. Well, in real estate, it's not just about location. It's about how many layers of value you have in an offering. If you buy a condo downtown, you may have the location. It may be on the transit line, maybe close to employment. You'll typically have three or four layers of value within those offerings. Grand Central Mimico is the only project that I can think of in the entire GTA today that has every single box ticked. You want to talk about market performance? We'll have that. You want to talk about location, transit, employment, 
retail, green spaces, all the way up to infrastructure and investments by both the public and the private sector. We have that here. When you're investing in a master plan community like Grand Central Mimico, you're not buying a speculative piece of real estate. You're buying a blue chip. There's so much happening around you and you get to benefit from every single bit of it. You get to benefit from the infrastructure investments. You get to benefit from the community becoming a destination. You get to benefit from the retail and the office. All of that has a positive impact on the value of your property. And that is why Grand Central Mimico is the best purchase opportunity in the GTA today. Now the most exciting part, our platinum launch incentives. Let's start with the deposit structure. This is going to be one of the last projects in the GTA that will offer you 15% down and an additional 5% on occupancy. The way that breaks down, we have 5% in 30 days, 2.5% in 5 months, 2.5% in 9 months, and an additional 5% in 15 months, and then you're done. You're waiting for about five years until the condo is done. What do you think will happen to your property value between now and five years from now? Our parking has been reduced for a limited time only by $10,000. We're going from $55,000 to $45,000. Lockers have been coming down for a limited time only with every single unit. We have an assignment clause. We're giving you the right to lease. Now we're also happy to include what we call a global cap. Van Dyke is committed to a true cap, a cap that encompasses all of these miscellaneous fees that are part of developing in the city of Toronto. Development charges, education levies, transit levies, parkland levies, section 37, it's all included in your cap. Your lawyer should have no comments because we have thought of every single detail here and rolled it into your cap. I am thrilled to announce that we're launching the North and the Center building today. Don't wait. We have the broker portal up ready for you to visit. Make sure you look at the password, download that, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. In the broker portal, you'll find all of our interactive tools. You can see all of the floor plans, the price list, the sales procedures, the brochure, all of the marketing collateral. Everything has been created and uploaded onto our portal to make your job easier to make sure that your clients get the tools and the education that they need to make an informed buying decision. Worksheet submissions begin today at 1 p.m. On April 1st and 2nd, we will go through our preliminary round of allocations and our first deals will be signed on April the 3rd, remotely or in person by appointment only. Now, do not get discouraged if you don't have enough time to submit your worksheets. Again, everyone, we have 750 units. This is going to get played out over the next three, four, or five weeks. So whether you end up getting a unit on day one, or day 10, or day 30, you're still taking advantage of one of the most unique offering in the city today. So we wanna make sure that you remain patient, submit your worksheet as early as possible. We may hang on to it to a, for a few days until we actually allocate your unit, but we will do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. On behalf of Van Dyke Properties, on behalf of myself and my team at Rare Real Estate Inc., we wanna thank you for joining us today. We hope that you now are as excited as us about Grand Central Mimico. Take a moment to jot down all the information. We also have everything listed in the description below. Make sure that you connect with our team, visit the broker portal, reach out to us. We are looking forward to working with you on Toronto's new transit-tailored community, Grand Central Mimico. See you soon. If you want to find out more, call U Group at 6474000800.